Thank you all for being here today, and thank you for those who have joined me this morning to speak and provide your support and through your presence. Before I start to, to speak right now, I just want to let everybody know that our two officers, as we speak, are being escorted to the medical examiner's office. And I just want to thank all of our partners who reached out so quickly with FIRE and EMS and our own members to provide that escort to their final place. Today, the Edmonton Police Service has been marked by a really an unthinkable and a horrific tragedy as two of our members have died in the line of duty. Constable Travis Jordan, age 35, had eight and a half years with the Edmonton Police Service. And Constable Brett Ryan, age 30, had five and a half years with the Edmonton Police Service. Constables Jordan and Ryan were valued members of our EPS family, and they worked side by side with us every day in service to our community, and I can't tell you how devastated we are with their loss. We know that their family and friends, their EPS family, and our entire community will be profoundly impacted by this incident, but we must all be there for each other. This is the time where we lean in and lean on each other. This morning, we are working hard to look after the families and co-workers who are most impacted by this tragedy. These two members died in service and protection of our community. And their lives and sacrifice will not be forgotten. We are maintaining our investigation at the scene of this incident and are able to provide only preliminary details, as Scott has said. We are going to give you as much as we can right now, but we advise you when there are more details available. What can I tell you right now? At approximately 12.47 a.m. this morning, Constables Jordan and Ryan of our West Division responded to a family dispute in an apartment building near the area of 114th Ave and 132nd Street. Upon arrival, the two patrol members went inside the building, approached the suite, and were shot by a male subject. At this time, all indications are they did not have a chance to discharge their firearms. The two members were rushed to the hospital by our own members who worked valiantly to save their lives en route. Unfortunately, they are both declared deceased at the hospital. The young male subject is also deceased believed to be from a self-inflected gunshot wound. A female complainant related to the subject was also taken to hospital with life-threatening injuries where she remains in serious but stable condition. We are very much in the early hours after an incident that there are multiple investigative lines we have to pursue in order to conclude this matter. We ask for your patience and understanding for our members and the multiple families impacted by today's incidents. Please give space to our officers who are mourning their colleague. We will provide update information and I'll assure you as soon as we can. And I also want to reassure the public that there is no further risk to our community from this incident. Our members are today, even in the face of tragedy, at work, protecting our city. This is what police officers do every day, even when they understand that the risks that they face. We are grateful for their ongoing commitment, even in the face of tragedy. As a police chief, I just want to tell you how humbled and proud I am of our members who continue to serve our community, this community, under such horrific circumstances. 
We appreciate all the expressions of support from all over the country, nationally and internationally and locally. Though that is the support that helps us get through each day in the days to come. We will do our best to keep everyone updated on the details of this incident and the plans to honour their sacrifice in the coming days. Again, I just want to thank you. You're seeing member, many members of our EPS family here today, and we're all grieving. And please respect that. The last thing that I would like to leave you with is these people were doing their job. This is unthinkable. It's unimaginable. It's horrific. It's a tragedy. But we will move on because that's what we do. Thank you. Uh, today, the province mourns the loss of two police officers killed in line of duty on behalf of the government of Alberta. We extend our deepest sympathies to the family, friends, and colleagues of these officers. I'd like to thank the chief, um, all the, as a former police officer myself, this hits very close to home, so to all my brothers and sisters out there, um, my heart is with you. Every day, police officers across Alberta put their uniforms on, uh, they protect and they serve their communities. The sudden and tragic death of these two Edmonton Police Service officers reminds us again how dangerous uh, police officers constantly face on a daily basis and in order to protect uh, the people of Edmonton and the people of Alberta. What's important now? So that we provide our support to the family and friends and colleagues of those officers. I cannot stress that enough to those who have been affected by this tragedy. The sudden and tragic death of these two officers reminds us again how dangerous this job is. There are no words there are really no words that I can express other than the deep sympathy and loss um, that every one of us here are experiencing here today. So I extend again, um, on behalf of the province of Alberta, um, deepest sympathies to the family, friends, and of course, colleagues and officers. Um, thank you. I'm here before you today with a very heavy heart. We're all devastated to receive the news that Constable Travis Jordan and Constable Brett Ryan were murdered in the line of duty early this morning. On behalf of City Council, City Administration, and all Edmontonians, I extend my deepest condolences to the families of these two officers and the entire Edmonton Police Service. I also send my condolences to all first responders and to all Edmontonians as we grieve together. Today is a very difficult and sad day. Every single day, police officers put their lives at risk to help protect the public. Every day, families of the police officers send their loved ones off to duty to work and hope they return home safely. This did not happen today for Ryan and Jordan families. To the members of the Edmonton Police Service, and their families. I want you to know that I, my office, city council, 
and city administration are here to support you. We hold you in our hearts as you mourn this profound loss and we mourn it with you. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge that there are many police officers as we speak back on duty serving and protecting Edmontonians while trying to understand what led to this unthinkable tragedy. So I ask all Edmontonians, when you see an officer working to keep you safe and our community safe, please thank them for their service. The contributions of Constable Ryan and Constable Jordan will always be remembered. And to all EPS members, please know that we are here for you and we offer our support through this incredibly difficult time.